my ends are looking super, super, super raggedy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for my hair to dry. I'm just looking at the ends. Look at this. Just look at this one. Do y'all see that? If y'all can see that. Look how raggedy the end of the hair is. my channel in today's video I am going to be achieving this hairstyle and I'm also going to be doing a short little trim so I'm going to be trimming off some of those dead ends and you all are probably wondering why are you trimming off only half your head I have a reason um, you have to get rid of your dead ends guys they are unhealthy and it does not help the hair if you keep the dead ends um, it just makes the hair unhealthy and the dead ends and spilling ends just progress up the shaft of the hair, which causes more damage. Um, I prefer healthy hair over length any day. Um, length, damaged, lengthy hair is not good at all. So I'd rather have short or whatever length my hair is, but healthy. Healthy hair is the way to go. That's all the reason of why we are being natural. We want our hair to be healthy. Um, it's not always about length. We want it to be healthy. Not saying that I don't have any length because I do have some shrinkage. But if you guys can see that, your girl got some length, okay? I got some length. But anyway, if you all are interested in this hairstyle and how I semi-trend some of my dead ends, please keep watching. But don't forget to hit that subscribe button and put on your post notification bell before we get into this video. Um, but yeah, let's just get started. All right, starting off on clean hair, I have already applied my LLC and I am working in sections. Now, for the beginning part of the video, you're just going to see me do my two strand twist. You all are pretty familiar on how to do a two strand twist. I have multiple videos on my channel that shows you how to do two strand twist. But the only product you're going to see me applying is my TGIN Daily Twist Buttercream. Like I've said many, many, many times before, I am obsessed with this moisturizer. They should be sponsoring me. Anyway, I'm applying this twist cream to every twist. And then I'm going in with my detangling brush to make sure that the ends of the hair are nicely detangled so that they curl around my finger effortlessly. I'm speeding the video up because this is very, very, very repetitive. somewhat of a protective style but I don't know yet my ends are looking super super 
super raggedy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for my hair to dry. I'm just looking at the ends. Look at this, just look at this. Do y'all see that? If y'all can see that. Look how raggedy the end of the hair is. So my plan is to wait for this to dry. Once it dries, I'm going to trim the ends. Because not only is that one raggedy, I'm looking at that one. That one's a bit raggedy. I need to trim so bad. That one's raggedy. Like a lot of them are raggedy. So I'm gonna wait for it to completely dry. And I'm gonna trim the ends. I've already oiled my scalp with some guys to oil all my edges. So we're gonna focus on this top section here. Pretty much, I'll probably just pin this tech section up into a top knot. And I think that's it. Alright, y'all. So we gonna go in with my best friend, which is the Eco Style Jake Flaxseed and Castor Oil Eco Style Gel. Take a nice, good amount of that. I've already applied um, Castor Oil along my edges. And I'm going to apply this gel on top of the Castor Oil. And so, I'm gonna take a little bit and apply it here. <laughs> right now, I'm going, I'm gonna go in with my semi heart bristle brush. I like my ponytails to be super 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 sleek like it just looks so much better when it's like really laid so I'm brushing the hair until I get it to the the desired way that I want it I'm actually going in with this detangling brush to get all the kinks out of it so that I can get that smooth sleek effect and then I'm going back in with some more moisturizer and my semi our bristle brush I'm going back and forth between all these brushes because I like it sleek y'all and y'all can see my hair is starting to dry a little bit my hair is so thick y'all I'm struggling to get this ponytail in my hair y'all look at my face <laughs> anyway I got it done <laughs> after all of that I got it done now I'm going back in with my brush again told y'all I like it sleek bit of my snot to give it a secure hold around them edges and then we're gonna do our baby hairs and that's gonna be it going in with some castor oil I'm gonna apply it to the ponytail part of the hair just to give it a little bit more moisture before I wrap this ponytail up and tuck it away this is a protective style so we want to retain moisture um, while we're doing the style so I am going to form this little knot top knot whatever you want to call it and now we're gonna go in with some of that cream of nature snot which I have mentioned on my channel before. This is the only thing that I can, that I use that actually lays my edges down. My edges are so stubborn. Like the moment you put any type of eco style gel, any kind of gel, they just begin to curl right back up out of the way. So this knot is the only thing that actually lays my edges. Now I will say, if you use too much, can be very 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 flaky it dries like a very crusty orange but I don't have a problem with it because it actually does the job that I needed to do
going in with a little bit more of that oil and I'm applying it to all of the twists that it is in the back of the hair. Um, I do this to one, give it shine, two, to lock in the moisture. Y'all see that? Do y'all see that? See how it gets like really thin right here? It's all just dead. Anyway, okay, so we are going to let this air dry. I'll be back on tomorrow. And I'm gonna show you guys how I trim my ends. And if you all can tell, I'm only gonna be able to trim the back because this is up in a top knot. So, we will be back on tomorrow. All right, y'all, so it's the following day. <clears throat> Excuse my voice, just woke up not too long ago, but it's the following day. My hair is I say 100% dry. Now I wasn't going to um, take the twist out, but I think that I think that I am. But like I told you guys on yesterday, I'm going to trim some of these dead, end, dead ends off. I'm looking in the mirror, but I'm looking in the mirror for guys one. But I'm going to trim some of these dead ends off. Dead ends off. So I'm going to put this into a ponytail, and I'm going to gradually take one, see how the end looks. And if it looks thinned out or bogus, then I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna cut it off. So I'm gonna take one braid out at a time. I'm gonna examine the ends. If it looks raggedy or you know dead to me, I'm gonna trim it off and then I'm gonna untwist the hair. So as you all can see, this one right here looks pretty good. I'm not gonna trim that one, but I am gonna take a little castor oil though on my hands. I'm taking this down because I'm taking this down to reduce the frizz. So I'm gonna untwist this one. Now I don't think that I'm gonna fluff it out or separate it because it's too hot outside. Nobody got time for all of that. Okay, here's the second one. That see how perfectly that looks perfect. Nothing wrong with it. I'm gonna untwist that one. Okay, so this is going to begin to be a little repetitive. See how that one looks a little thin on the end? I'm gonna trim that. Trim that about right there.
so the hair is freshly trimmed um, like I said um, I just trimming a little bit of the dead ends off and I could not trim the top so that'll be a whole separate video what I will do is when I take this style down I'm going to put this section into braids just like this and trim the top so that it is even and it's all trimmed at the same time um, but other than that I am loving the results of this twist out in the back and as you all know I use my best friend this right here um, if I did not mention it before, but I did use the TGIN Date Butter Cream Daily Moisturizer with Shea Butter and Vitamin E. This is my best friend. They should sponsor me because this moisturizer is bomb. And I've been loving it on my hair for the summertime. It keeps it so hydrated and moist. And I'm just I'm loving this style. I was not going to untwist the twist, but I decided to because I'm on my way to church and it just it just made me look a little bit more presentable. Um not saying that the twists are not presentable, but it just brought the style together a little better. But I am loving, loving, loving the results from this twist out, you guys. I'm not gonna um I'm not going to separate the twist because it's not gonna do anything but frizz because it's so hot outside. Um but y'all I'm loving it, okay? If you all enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, please share, please comment, please subscribe, and put on your post notification bells so you all are notified every time I do an upload. And until my next video, I'll see you all later.